New information about mold found in two Alamance Burlington schools. District leaders gave an update on the cleanup and repairs. The district first reported mold in classrooms at Andrews Elementary on Friday, and then yesterday they say mold was also found at Newland Elementary. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman has the plan to get the mold removed. The clock is ticking. School starts back on August 28th. The mold is expected to be cleaned up at Andrews Elementary on August 20th. Fingers crossed. I spoke with a specialist in the field about the probability of this timeline. He says it should work. Absolutely, it can. And uh, the people that are going to be assigned that task over there are very professional, extremely capable. I run into them in the field. and they will have the resources to apply the manpower that's needed. CEO of Guilford Environmental Wayne Hodges also talked with me about health concerns for incoming teachers and students. ABSS says the mold found is reportedly non-toxic. Hodges says he would be very reluctant to use the word non-toxic because he says most mold releases some sort of byproduct or some sort of toxin. He also mentioned that mold affects people differently. Well, it might be good for you and me might be bad for somebody else and that's why Alamance is erring on the side of safety and they're going to treat this thing like it's a, a huge epidemic breakout because they want these kids to be safe they want the parents not to worry about it now let's talk about cleanup at Newland Elementary right now the inspection is happening then the cleanup will begin we'll keep you updated on that but before either school reopens, indoor air quality will be tested to ensure it meets safety standards. If the remediation work is not finished by the first day of school, the district says contingency plans are put in place to relocate affected students and staff.